welcome to our channel banana tips in this tutorial uh, you will learn that how we can create this uh, beautiful wood floor material with the help of nodes and here i put all the uh, required color and essential value into the group input node to create the custom node group and by pressing tab here you can see the custom node group of this wood floor material and here you can see that this uh, wood floor material contain the uh, two color of the wood and also many other parameters and here you can see uh, this is the color one of the wood and uh, this is the color two of the wood you can see the color and uh, this is the noise scale and here you can increase the uh, noise scale as you want and this is the noise detail noise roughness and uh, this is the noise uh, distortion and here you can see the distortion in the noise and uh, these are the all other parameter and uh, this is the uh, motor size this is the tile width and uh, here you can see and uh, this is the uh, tile height beautiful and uh, this is the wood bump strength this is the tile bump strength roughness and here you can see uh, the roughness of the wood floor and finally this is the displacement beautiful welcome to the blender procedural realistic material this procedural realistic material library currently contain 200 plus realistic procedural material blender asset browser setup containing 25 different catalogs having custom node groups custom thumbnails 25 packs containing original 3d model and material and also more in future and here you can see the 25 different catalogs and uh, this is the abstract material this is the bricks and tiles fabric wood glass glitters hexagon man-made marble ornaments paint metals rocks in snow space terrazzo tree box wood and wood floor and uh, these materials are having custom thumbnails and uh, you can just drag and drop this material on your object and here you can see and uh, this is the black and gold material and uh, also many other material and here you can see all material having a custom node group from where you can easily change these materials and many other setting according to your requirement and uh, if you want to purchase these materials then you can visit my permanent store blender markets links are in descriptions first i open the blender and uh, set up the scene and here you can see that uh, this is the 3d viewport and here i am in camera view and also in render view and this is the icosphere and uh, actually this is the highly subdivided object and uh, uh, this is the shader editor where i am going uh, to add uh, some node to create uh, this uh, wood floor material so by pressing a new button you can create a new uh, node and here i rename this node as wood floor beautiful first i want to add the brick texture to create a mask for this wood floor so for that by pressing a shift a here i search for the brick texture and uh, place it uh, something like here and uh, uh, put this into the base color and here you can see the bricks and uh, by pressing ctrl t this will be add the mapping and uh, texture coordinate this is due to the node regular add-on which i enable beautiful and here i change uh, some setting of the brick texture so here i want to create the same color of the bricks uh, which i use later to create the wood texture and here i use uh, this color to 
the color too beautiful and here i also want to change uh, some setting of the motor actually motor is the uh, difference between these uh, bricks and here i decrease the motor size and here i put the value of point double zero six beautiful and uh, also increase the motor smoothness up to one and here the base uh, actually this is the difference between the white and uh, brick uh, black and gray uh, bricks so for that here i increase the base up to 0 0.015 nice and uh, here i also change the uh, brick width and the uh, brick height and uh, here i change the value of the row height and here i put the value up to the point one two zero beautiful now it's look better and here i use the actually the generated coordinate but here i want to use the object coordinate so put the object into the vector of the mapping now it's looking nice and i put this value into the normal and here you can see and here you can see this is the shading issue because uh, this is the color data and this is the normal data to convert the color data into the normal data we use a node which is the pump node by pressing shift a here i search for the pump node and uh, place the pump node something like here and also the normal into the height now it's looking beautiful and here i decrease the bump strength uh, something like uh, down i think point four five zero is better nice now this is the mask of the wood floor and now i create a wood texture so for that by pressing shift a here i search for the noise texture and uh, place the noise texture above the brick texture and also move these uh, something like here and here i use the same mapping coordinate and uh, put the vector of the mapping into the vector of the noise texture and uh, by pressing control shift we can preview the noise texture and here i set the uh, some value of this uh, noise texture and here i increase the noise scale uh, something like I think 10 is uh, better and also increase the detail up to the max which is the uh, 15 and uh, also uh, increase the distortion but uh, you will see the distortion later and uh, first uh, I duplicate this mapping and place something like here and uh, here I change the value to create a uh, some line so for that here i increase uh, the value of the y scale and here i put the value something like 20 nice this create a nice pattern of uh, the noise texture and now i change the distortion so here i increase the value uh, something here i put five and this will create the nice pattern of the nice texture but i want to make this nice texture more contrasty so for that here i search for the color ramp and place the color ramp uh, here and uh, here i change this pointer to adjust the value and here i move this uh, something like this and also move this pointer of this color ramp here now the noise texture is looking so nice beautiful and here i add the mix node to create the color for this wood floor so by pressing shift a here i search for the uh, mix color and place the mix color something like here and uh, also uh, by pressing ctrl shift to preview 
the principal bsdf and uh, put this value into the base color nice and uh, here i put this into the vector and here i applied the color for the wood and uh, here i uh, make uh, some brown color of this wood uh, something like this and uh, also change uh, this color uh, something like this and also make it fully dark brown i think this is looking better and uh, if you want uh, the same color which is i am using then you can click the color and the uh, x value and here you can put the value 64b08 and uh, for this color you can put the value 1e0e03 e beautiful and uh, now i want uh, uh, the wood floor tile uh, slightly look uh, different from one and other to create a uh, realism so for that here i search for another mix color and uh, place the mix color something like here and uh, here i choose uh, this mix type to multiply and uh, put this value into the vector and uh, uh, sorry put this value into the a color and here I use the brick texture color value into the D. And here you can see uh, some floor tiles are slightly uh, different in color with each other. Beautiful. And now here I add uh, another bump node to create uh, some fake bumps uh, to the wood texture. So I press Shift D to duplicate it and uh, place it something like here and here this time I use the uh, noise texture data and here I put this value into the height and here you can see the bump strength is uh, too much high to decrease this value here I decrease the bump strength and uh, here I put the value something like point the zero beautiful And uh, I also add uh, some uh, displacement to these uh, bricks. So for that, here I uh, search for the uh, displacement and uh, place it something like here and move the principal PSD something like here. Nice. And here I decrease the scale up to the point uh, 001 and uh, place this uh, displacement data into the material output beautiful and here i only uh, want to displace the uh, brick texture so here i use this brick texture data into the height of the displacement beautiful and here you can see the bricks are slightly displaced and uh, if you increase uh, the displacement value too much high then you can see the clearly difference nice but here i put uh, only 0 0.001 which is looking better and uh, by pressing f12 you can see the material in rendered view and here is the final render of this wood floor materials thanks for watching